Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm back with another game from the uh, season of the Kansas City Royals. And we are going into a game against the Colorado Rockies. So, just to refresh your memory, we are doing this as a season starting in the 2023 season. So, um, let's go look at the standings as they are right now. And as you can see, we are in last place. That is not unexpected because this is the 2023 Kansas City Royals. We are 18 and 38 currently. Um, let's see if we are the worst team. We are not the worst team. The Nationals are worse than us. They're 15 and 41 right now. Um, and there are um, a couple of teams that are that were still pretty close that are close to us. Miami is pretty close. They're only 20 and 37. Um, the Boston Red Sox are 23 and 33. So we, but we are the second worst team in baseball as it currently stands right now. And we're playing the Rockies. The Rockies are 26 and 32 on the year. So, uh, with all of that having been said, and giving you a frame of reference of where we are right now, let's get on with the game. So here it is. We're playing at home. It seems like every time I do one of these games, we're at home. We just happen to be at home because I go through and I try to find interesting games to play. And this is an out-of-league, you know, intra-league or whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, series. So it's kind of interesting. The Rockies will line up with um, Tovar leading off at shortstop, Ryan McMahon at second base batting second, uh, Jurickson and Profar will play first base and bat third, then they got Charlie Blackman in the uh, cleanup spot in right field, Montero is the DH, Yandy Daza is in center field, Harold Castro will be in left field, Elias Diaz is the catcher, and he is batting eighth. And then Mike Moustakis will be the third baseman, batting ninth. And they are going to have Ryan Feltner pitching against us. He is currently 3-5 and five with a 720 earned run average on the year and a 173 whip. For us, we're going to line up as Bobby Witt Jr. leading off and playing third base. Then Mike Massey, the second baseman, will bat second. He is on fire currently, as you can see. He's hitting 296 with an 872 OPS. Um, then you've got uh, Perez, the catcher, batting third. Vinny Pasquatino at first base will bat in the cleanup spot. Um Fran Mil Reyes will be the DH. Then you've got Melendez at right field batting sixth. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be in left field batting seventh. Uh, Kyle Isbell will be the center fielder as he usually has been throughout the season. Nicky Lopez at shortstop batting ninth. And then you've got um, uh, Max Castillo starting for us. And Castillo on the year is 2-0. He came up after the season started, or was acquired after the season started. And he's 2-0 with a 2.05 earned run average and a 123 whip. So, uh, looks pretty good for us. I mean, the Rockies are not a great team, and they have a guy pitching who isn't doing very well on the season. So, we are home, and we will pitch to the batter. And they will give us the uh, pa nice panoramic view of uh, the uh, ballpark, Kauffman Stadium, or whatever it's currently called. Before Castillo delivers his first pitch, which is going to be a base hit to right field. And it's going to be an error on the right fielder that lets the uh, leadoff man go to second base. So Ezekiel Tovar leading off and he is at second base. 
which brings up Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon struck him out, sent him back to the bench, and uh, Jerickson Profar is up. And he's going to strike out, so Max Castillo's like, you know what, guys, I'll just do this myself. You got Charlie Blackman, whose beard in this picture is a lot less extensive than it really is, and that's going to be a base hit to center field, which will score the run. No, it didn't. They threw him out. He was thrown out at home. Wow. So, um, I, I thought for sure he would be able to score. He must, that Tovar guy must be pretty slow. So now you got Bobby Witt Jr. leading off against Ryan Feltner, who, as I said, is having a terrible season so far. And Bobby Witt Jr. is going to fly out to center. So there's one down quickly. And up steps Michael Massey, who is on fire, as I said. And he is going to, looks like, ground out to first. And that is what happens. So there's two down quickly for us. And Salvador Perez. Selvi! And Selvi <coughs> grounds out to shortstop. So we're going to the second inning in a 0-0 game. And, uh... Eliris Montero is up against Max Castillo. Castillo delivers, and it's going to be a deep fly ball to left, but it's caught out there for the out. And there, that brings up, oh, Jonathan Daza. All right. I, th I probably completely butchered his name when we went over the lineups. And um, Harold Cast Castro. So Castillo, looking really sharp here, um, he gave up the leadoff hit, but the leadoff hit, even though it put a man at second, should only have been a single. So we got Feltner dealing now to Vinny Pasquatino, our cleanup hitter. And Pasquatino is going to have a single. It's a base hit, leadoff base hit for Pasquatino. And that brings up Fran Mil Reyes, the DH, and he strikes out. He's going back to the bench. Up steps Melendez, MJ Melendez, and he strikes out. So, not not a good start here um, for us. And Jackie Bradley Jr. and he might no, it doesn't get down. It's a fly ball to right. So we're going to the third in the tie game. Max Castillo continuing to pitch masterfully out there. He allows a fly ball to left, which is caught. For the first out of the third inning of the Rockies' third inning, it brings up Mike Moustakis. And Mike Moustakis looks like he's flying to center. Like I said, this Rockies team, not very good. We are the second worst team in baseball, but this Rockies team isn't the greatest. That's going to be a shopping at the gap. Back to the leadoff hitter, Tovar, and Tovar is going to find himself on second for the second time this game. So man at second, uh, you know, but there's all there's two down though. So if we can get Ryan McMahon here, and we can't, that's a base hit. Does he score on it though? He's coming around, and that time I think he scored. So yeah, they they take a one nothing lead, and Jurix and Profar is the batter, and he strikes out. So Castillo gets touched up a little bit there for one run. We're in the bottom of the third with. Kyle Isbell, the center fielder, up at the plate. And is that going to get down? No, that's going to be a fly ball to center, as a matter of fact. Nicky Lopez is up. Nicky Lopez is going to hit a fly ball to center field for two outs really quickly. I think we only have like one hit so far. Bobby Witt Jr. Got to expect a little more out of him. I mean, I and he gets it. He delivers on it with a double. So he goes shopping at the gap, gets himself up to second base, but there's already two outs. Although we have the very hot um, Michael Massey batting next. But he strikes out. So we get no runs there, and we send Castillo back out to the mound. He's still got plenty of gas in the tank, it looks like. So that's a good thing. And... 
And the batter flies out to center for one out. Brings up Montero. Montero is going to strike out. Max Castillo is on top of his game. As a matter of fact, you can see his earned run average now is uh, 210. And he, he's going, and there's a great catch out there in left field. Are you kidding me? So a great catch by the left fielder, by our left fielder, sends the Rockies back into the field. As we go to the bottom of the fourth, down only one nothing. With Salvador Perez up, and can he beat this out? No, because he's like 70 years old, so he's not going to beat that out. Next batter is Vinny Pasquatino. And Vinny is going to hit a little dribbler that gets him thrown out at first base. By the pitcher, and Fran Mil Reyes is up. And we are doing a lot of good for Feltner's earned run average, because... He is not being challenged at all here. We are in the top of the fifth. Max Castillo, still a lot of gas in the tank. Good thing to see. And Selvi throws out the base runner who hit a dribbler in front of the plate. And that brings up Elias Diaz, who I have on my Stratomatic, one of my Stratomatic teams. He's a good, good hitter, and he shows it there by getting a base hit to right field. Man at first, one down, Moustakis up, and Moustakis strikes out. Max Castillo, man, this guy going forward is going to be great for us, but we got to have about four more pitchers like him. And there is a ground out to third, which ends the inning. And we are in the bottom of the fifth with MJ Melendez. We just can't get anything going against Feltner, but we do right there. It's a home run for MJ Melendez. Unbelievable. And that brings up Jackie Bradley Jr. Now, you know what? He could go deep. Well, he walks. I mean, you know, I'll take it. Um, You know, with Isbell, I am going to hit and run. Let's go a hit and run here. Oh! He missed it, but was he safe? Yep, he was safe. So we've got Jackie Bradley Jr. at second. No outs and Isbell up. And now I am going to try to bunt with Isbell. Oh, come on, Isbell. There's two strikes. I guess I'll swing away. But he strikes out. And now the batter is Nicky Lopez. Come on, Lopez. Let's knock him around. Now, Nicky Lopez, I think, was traded to um, the Braves in real life. So, real life, uh, we wouldn't have him. But in out of the park, we have him. And Bobby Witt Jr. is going to fly out to center. So, we get a mild threat there in the uh, fifth. But we don't score. And uh, Max Castillo's going back out there for the sixth. And he's got to because, I mean, you know, this team is not really a great pitching team. So if you got a great pitcher that's holding you in a one nothing game, you want that guy out there as long as he can be out there. And he strikes out the first two batters. This guy is unreal today. I mean, he's pitched five and two-thirds. He's allowed five hits and only one earned run and struck out eight. And uh, he walks a guy, though. So there's a man at first base and Montero up. And he they try to do the hit and run, but it's a ground out to third base. That ends the inning. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. We need a run here. We need to tie this game up. Massey, just the man. Or wait a minute. No, we did tie. Sorry, my bad. We did tie the game. It is 1-1. I forgot about the home run. How could I forget by M MJ Melendez? So, Salvador Perez is up. We're in a tie game at one all. Man at first. And Selby is going to get a nice base hit right there. Runners will stop. The runner will stop at first, or at second base, though. So, we've got runners at first and second with no outs. And Pasquatino up. He's our cleanup man. I'm going to let him try to hit. And that was not a great idea. At least he doesn't hit into a double play. So there are runners at the corners with one down and Fran Meal 
Reyes up, and he is going to strike out. <coughs> that brings up our man, MJ Melendez, who has a home run in RBI today. And he's going to walk to load the bases. Feltner loads him up. And that's going to bring to the plate Jackie Bradley Jr. And I believe he walked last time. And he walks again and forces in a run, the go-ahead run. <coughs> so we're up 2-1 to one here, and uh, Kyle Isbell up. And Kyle Isbell's going shopping at the gap. He's going to knock in at least two, maybe three. Little bouncing ball there. And now he got a triple. Yeah, he knocked everybody home. So we've got a five to one lead. Um, and Nikki Lopez up. Nice triple there for Isbell, but Lopez strikes out to end the inning. But Feltner shows his true colors there, and we go to the top of the seventh. I'm gonna try to get Castillo through the seventh. There's two strikes on the batter, and he's gonna ground out to first. We gotta to try to get Castillo through the seventh, and I think that's that's a doable thing as long as he run he doesn't run into trouble and he strikes out the next guy. So that is the ninth strikeout for him, and now he is facing Eliash Diaz, good hitter as I said, and he's gonna maybe fly out to center. Hopefully, yes. So that is gonna be it, and we are going to get some action in the Kansas City bullpen. I am going to get, uh, I'm going to say Amir Garrett. Let's get Amir Garrett up. Everybody, it's nice to see everybody is um, is uh, good out there. So we'll have Amir Garrett up and we'll bring him in next inning. But Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter right now. And maybe he can work a walk. And he can. 3-2 count. And he worked the walk. Leadoff batter is aboard and Michael Massey. Michael Massey strikes out. Michael Massey not having a good game. Came in hotter than a skillet, but, you know, not good here. And then Selvi strikes out. You know, he's 70 years old. And then you got Pasquatino. And Pasquatino strikes out. So we got the leadoff man on and then we just uh, kind of folded like a tent. And we are going to bring in Amir Garrett. Castillo, he's done enough for the day. And we have a 5-1 to one lead. So Amir Garrett is going to deal now. He comes in, he's pitched 27 and two-thirds innings on the year and has a 195 earned run average. So we're looking for big things from Garrett. And he strikes out the first batter. That's exactly what we're expecting. The next batter, though, is going shopping at the gap and is going to get a double. So they've got a man at second with one down. And the batter is Ryan McMahon. And Ryan McMahon is going to... Oh, there's an error on the third baseman. <clears throat> Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. Made an error, and that might be costly, but let's see. There's a fly out to left, so that's the second out. Runners are at, still at first and second now with two down. And Randall Gritchick is pinch hitting. They bring up Gritchick, and we struck him out. All right, I'm going to go to the pen again um, and get somebody else up. We're going to go get Scott Barlow. He hasn't had a good season yet so far so let's get him all right let me that there we go we do want to warm up Scott Barlow he is cold right now but when we're done batting he should be ready to go Fran Meal Reyes up I don't see you know what there's not too many games that I actually manage the team where we win but I'm, I feel real good about this one. We got a four-run lead in the bottom of the eighth as we're batting in the bottom of the eighth. And Melendez, who's homered today, and he strikes out. 
So there's two down and Jackie Bradley Jr. And Jackie Bradley Jr. hits a weak grounder to second base for the last out. Let's go get Barlow. Um, and you'll see what I mean by Barlow not having a great uh, season. In fact, let me see. We, we were on it. Well, anyway, we'll just go to game action. And as you can see, Barlow has pitched 15 and two-thirds innings. He's allowed 15 hits and has a 574 earned run average. So I'm trying to give him, you know, he's got a little he's got a little leash to work with here with a four-run lead. So I'm trying to get, and then he walks the leadoff batter. So, you know. Two strikes on the batter and he strikes him out good. I mean, Barlow in real life is a good pitcher. I don't know why he's so bad and out of the park. You would think he wouldn't be. But there's a fly ball to center. So there's two down quickly. And that's going to be a wild pitch. It's a good thing we have some runs to play with here. Um, Barlow dealing to Eliash Diaz. And he strikes out, and here we come out onto the field. This is like the first time I think I've ever won as I actually manage. All the other wins, I think. Maybe I got one other one. But anyway, let's look at the box score. You can look at the batters, what they did. Witt was one for three. Massey was one for four. Of course, she had Melendez with the home run. Um... And Isbell, one for three with a triple and three runs knocked in. And then Castillo went seven. He allowed five hits and only one earned run. Lowered his ERA to 186. Garrett came in, pitched an inning, lowered his ERA to 188. And then Barlow even came in and lowered his ERA to 540, which is not good that you're lowering it to 540. But anyway, we'll finish today. And now you can see we are 19 and 38, which is what we would be if we went from 18 and 38 to a game where we won. So, and we knocked the Rockies down to 26 and 33. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.